15 amps AC input, 1700 watt flame. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of hard to tell with these flames. They're a lot longer than they look. At any rate, just going to be burning some common everyday objects with this flame to observe the effects of perhaps an accident or uh, some very odd tooling. Let's check it out. Oxy hydrogen actually completely vaporizes uh, organic material and turns it into carbon dioxide gas and steam. Let's see what a quick skin burn might do. Just a quick little accidental lick. You know, they're always showing these idiots putting their hands through the flame. Ooh. Pretty gnarly to me. Are they trying to show me it won't burn your hand? Kind of hot. All right, let's get back to the hole. Lifting a flash bag with the portrait off. Look at the hole that's just boring into there. It literally turns organic material into a gas. It first carburizes it and then it burns the carbon in a water gas reaction, which converts the carbon into carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and uh, I believe that's it. Might be a minute amount of methane, and all those are immediately burnt off back into carbon dioxide. Burning a hole straight through it. Need to set it up on something. Come on, baby. Help me out. You gotta keep that flame off the torch tip. It's just about through. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah. Just about all the way through. The camera's not going to be able to see it with this bad lighting. 
We're just about there. I'm gonna quit being serious for just a minute to see what this torch will really do to weird applications. That's a lot of moisture this thing has to boil away. If this was dehydrated, it would nearly eat through it instantly. case in the massive uh, or very impressive duty cycle of this HHO torch. A lot of torches can't run at this capacity because they don't have radiators on them. I'm not trying to like showboat or outdo anybody. I'm just showing that putting a radiator on your torch if you tried to build one and you were overheating, it will give you a 100% duty cycle. It's about burnt through that. Ooh, got a little lick of heat there. tip Steve-O over there at Green Fuel H2O or whatever it is. I tried the sodium or potassium hydroxide, I'm sorry. So far so good, I don't have any foam up issues. Running at about 1500 watts. That was 13 amp flame we seen there, so pretty impressive. Running a squirrel cage on it to keep it cool off. Of course this isn't done yet, I don't have any money to complete it. So we're just kind of hanging out here. We're hanging out at 100 degrees and we're broke. Let's examine this orange. That was pretty impressive. It can literally just vaporize organic material. I don't know about you, but I, I find that a very impressive feature of this flame. I don't know that a oxy hydrogen or a oxy acetylene would do this, but I do know that carbon is heated to incandescent temperatures with this torch so when steam hits that incandescent carbon the steam from the hho flame that is it utilizes that steam so we're using the heat from the hho flame to create incandescent carbon which then 
comes in contact with steam condensed from the combustion of the oxyhydrogen gas and it causes the water gas reaction to take place and where the water molecules are cracked by um, a chemical reaction with the carbon and, and it releases carbon monoxide and hydrogen both those gases are immediately burnt up of course but uh, that is just too cool it's not even hot to the touch really it's warm but isn't that awesome I think I'll shut this thing down it's just sitting here running I was running it through its paces I wanted to see if it would uh, how well it would do as far as foam up. In the past, I've had a lot of problems with this thing foaming and shooting foam into my secondary capture system and all that. But uh, that was too cool. Got some more melts on the way. I tried to fire the cell phone up so we could burn it alive, but it's dead. The battery will not charge. It's obviously reached its uh, minimum voltage and expired years ago. This is like an eight year old phone, but uh, we're gonna see what an accidental contact with an oxyhydrogen torch will do to that thing.